What is happening, everybody? Welcome, Fins fans, NFL fans, whatever fans you are. Welcome to uh, a brand new video by me. You don't see that too often. Um, I mean, today, you know, I decided, you know, I wanted to do a little bit of a Madden rebuild with the Miami Dolphins because most of my subscribers are Miami Dolphins fans. So I was like, you know what? Let me do, let me do a matter rebuild, but do it the Dolphins way. It has to be realistic. Uh, that includes trades and free agency signings, but at the same time, my decisions for what I want to do with the team. You guys can also get in on the comment section, voting to like ratio. That can also be uh, something that may or may not come in the future. Uh, depends on your guys interactions with the videos so obviously it's a Madden roster it's not gonna be completely right until the new Madden comes out the goal is to try to win a Super Bowl pretty quick um, hopefully the series is over by the time the new Madden comes out, you know, we have about a month and a half until that happens. So, you know, if I'm putting out one episode a week, two episodes a week, that gives me a good amount of time. You know, so obviously looking at the roster right now, um, you know, I really hate the fact that we got Connor Williams at guard or center sorry like he should not be our center a man a man that's never played center playing center i don't like it too much um also i also hate that i have to do the rosters like this where it shows that Jalen wilds rookie that definitely sucks uh, but it is what it is you gotta use what you got until the new madden comes out so what I'm going to do is we need to first look into free agency um, for the players that are left. So you got Rob Gronkowski, uh, OBJ, Ryan Bulega. So I'm not going with Rob Gronkowski or Odell because that's just, we wouldn't add Odell to this team, I don't think. Uh, a 32 year old right tackle I don't think so um, you know it doesn't seem like we're touching a linebacker with a 10 foot pole you know it really doesn't seem like we're going after anyone like that uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make the uh, the signing that all the fans are gonna want here JC Treader here. You know, it, it's been said that there's been an offer out there uh, and that he hasn't taken it yet. Uh, so, you know, is what it is on that. What else? What else can we add to our team? Alexander Johnson, only 29 years old, middle linebacker there. I'm intrigued. I really am intrigued. Uh, looking at the rest of the guys. You know, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to make it, because I want to make this realistic. You just, because JC, JC Treader to Miami is pretty realistic when you think about it. I mean, we really need a center and he's still out there and there's been an offer put on the table for him. So, I mean, you can take that how it is. Uh, Robert Hunt. The thing is, I know Greg Little's not gonna be the starter here. I'm gonna move. That just 
that doesn't make any sense. Now that makes my job harder. You know that dolphins? It makes my job harder when you're doing this to me. Let's put Greg Little at right tackle. You know, if if this doesn't work, call me a dumbass. And of course it puts Armstead over there. Oh my god. Is there any possible way that I can get Austin Jackson to be the backup? I mean, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding? There we go. Thank you. Oh my god. Yeah, Austin Jackson is going to be the starting right tackle. Sad to say it, but he's going to be the starting right tackle. I'm just going to add JC Treader in here. Being a hopeful Miami Dolphins fan, that we actually sign him uh, to join up as our new center. I don't think we touch the offense here. I don't think you add anything to the offense at this point. The defense is my question. Do I go with a defensive tackle or a defensive end? It's the real question here. See Melvin Ingram is right there. I don't think Mel Melvin Ingram will be a starter. I think Jalen Phillips will be the starter there. Fendulum. Uh, we got to look in the depth chart here. I know. I know. Yeah. Veron McKinley. The, people are sleeping on him. Let me tell you. Him out of Oregon. Him and, him and uh, Javon Holland could seriously be the future of our backfield. Um... I would love to add, it's, it, there's been a player in my mind that I've been thinking about the past five minutes. And I know many people wouldn't like it. Uh, I don't think he's been picked up yet. If you hear my computer, you're going to know why. Uh, Dominican Sue. Let me see. I have no idea how to spell his name. And of course my uh my keyboard doesn't want to work with me. Dom can sue. He is a free agent right now. We need I really want to get Channing Tyndall his playing time. Um You know, as a move to really try to step forward here, but also step in the past a little bit, I'm going to sign Dominican Sue to this team. Put, put a little twist on it. I'm also going to sign a linebacker here. I just need to find the right one for us. Ruben Foster, I, th I thought we would actually sign him. I thought we would sign Ruben Foster and uh, try to get him on the roster, but we have given him a look, though. We have given Ruben Foster a look. Well, I'm going to go with it. Since we've already given him a look, maybe we add him on for training camp when we get back uh, in about a month from now. Um... Maybe that's maybe that's when we when we add him on. So I added J C Treader, uh, Ruben Foster is now on the Miami Dolphins on my rebuild of us. Um, see, I just messed everything up doing that. Totally screwed up all the starters there. Pressing that button. See, totally messed it up. I was not thinking when I did that. Now I gotta switch Austin Jackson 
back to right tackle. You know what, game? Can you please just... Please? Like, why would Adam Pinky be the immediate, like, backup to Greg Little? It just doesn't make sense, man. It really doesn't. And it really sucks that I gotta put a less overall as the starter. You know what I mean? You know, that's, that's ridiculous. Uh, so, Ruben Foster has been added on here. I'm gonna make Indominus Sue a defensive tackle here. Want him to play inside? Is that gonna take snaps away from Raekwon Davis? Yes. But I mean, we're all about winning, right? Christian Wilkins, the Gam Kansu, and Emmanuel Agba on the defensive line. I mean, I'm not gonna hate that at all that seems not so bad not so bad I think we got our team together here that's the you know we got Thomas Morstead you know we're continuing on with 30 plus year old punters we're just holding off uh, getting our franchise punter yes there are franchise punters I would love to I would love for us to have like a Pat McAfee or something you know what I mean uh, Keon Grosson, Nick Needham, and Noah Benagi need to play the backups, but Nick Needham is our third guy. I like that still. I really do like that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to play preseason games here at all. It just it doesn't seem like there's a reason to. But I, what I will do... Um, I'll do all the big cuts that need to happen here. Cut 19 players. I gotta cut 19 players down. This is gonna be tough. This is actually gonna be really tough. Unless they just suck. We can't cut Blake Ferguson because he's our uh, long snapper here. So, let's see, we're just gonna. Elijah Cabell, Campbell, sorry, it's gotta go, River Craycraft, I actually think he's gonna make the team, so, I don't think I'm gonna cut him now, Duke Riley's gonna make this squad, Quincy Wilson, I don't think you're making this squad, uh, Trent Sherfield, I think he's making this squad, Cody Core, you can be cut, Durham Smythe, Back up to Mike Izzicki. He's not going anywhere. Uh, John Lovett. I think you go to the practice squad. Here. Liam Roberts is going to stay. Uh, sadly. You know. Yeah, sadly. Salvin Ahmed's going to have to go. He's just going to go to the practice squad if he can make it on there. We're also going to cut Adam Pankey. Uh, Benito Jones was such a huge player. Or not a huge player, but a good developmental player. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to cut John Jenkins just because I have a veteran player in Adamican Sue uh, to lead the charge there and, you know, really be able to have Benito and uh, Raekwon flourish under him and just keep growing as players uh, Porter Gustin never really heard of you so you can go God would I love to this player does not meet our standards you're damn right Madden you really are uh, Veron McKinley I think you're gonna make the team I think you might actually be a practice squad player to be honest um, watch for Clay and Fedgelm. I think Clay and Fedgelm actually gets cut this camp. Ten more players you got to cut here. Getting tough. Man. Making this tough for me here. Skylar Thompson. Oh. 
we gonna carry three? Cause it's 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 gonna screw up my salary cap if I cut him like that. Straight up. I don't wanna cut Robert Jones, I don't wanna cut Michael Dieter. Um Cameron Good's just a seventh round pick. I think he's gonna come in and, and do things. It, it sucks that I'm saying all this for a lot of people because they're gonna end up going. Uh Sathan so Carter, he's gonna be going. Um Sheldrick Redwine, I think he's gonna go to the practice squad just because we're gonna keep uh, McKinley there. Adam, did Adam Butler even show up for OTAs or for mandatory minicamp? I haven't heard from him at all, at all. So he's gonna be the one cut that you know goes against the salary cap there, like that. Um. You keep going up the list here. The players just keep getting better and better. There. Calvin Munson's going to go. Six more players need to be cut. This is this is where you get down the, the nitty gritty. And you're like, shit. You know, you got you to cut these players. Oh, man. Don't tell me Preston's not going to make the roster. He'll go to the practice squad then. Um, where's all the other guys from beforehand? Brennan Scarlet. I th there's no way we cut Brennan Scarlet. I just don't see that happening. Duke Riley, it's possible, but I think he's also taking a huge steps this camp. So, you know what? Screw the salary cap here because there's some moves that I just cannot do. Uh, we're going to put Skyler Thompson on the practice squad. I'm going to save Robert Jones to the practice squad. Hmm. Sadly, I think there's just not enough room for Cameron. Good, so he's going to go to the practice squad. Um, and someone I have not heard from, but sad. we can't move him to the practice squad, though. Sam McGuavin, that's going to be a sad cut. If that goes down, it's how much he's been for this rebuild. And if if there's going to be a guy from the top that needs to go, really, I can't I can't see t someone really going from up at the top, like a big surprise cut. I mean, sadly. I'm going to put on the practice squad. Saul McKinley might not make the team just because of his weight and how he's not been able to, or he's not a polling guard, and, you know, that's not going to really work in this new offense. Uh, so I think you got your Dolphins team here uh, for the 2022 season. Uh, some weird cuts, to be honest with you. Some players I thought would make it that just didn't make it in the end. Whew. Man, that's there's there's some actual tough cuts there. Legendary cut, Jason Peters. Seahawks, Julio Jones gets cut. So he gets He gets signed for a one year deal. And Jason Peters does too. And they both get cut. Man, don't tell me that's the way they go out. Imagine Julio Jones gets picked up by the Seahawks. Man, that would be huge for Drew Locke. But 
Let's just advance a week into week one here. So the Patriots, week one away. Of course, this is last year's schedule, but that's where I'm going to cap off episode one here, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did uh, enjoy this video, please smash the like button and subscribe uh, for episode two. I'm going to go and film the next episode. Uh, just to see what happens with uh, the interaction with this video. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Go Dolphin. Fins up, baby.